21st century demands that we approach leadership in a unique and revolutionary way because the world comprises of people who are both unique and different. Given that diversity is becoming a dominant feature globally, we should be exploring how to use this phenomenon as a competitive advantage and a creative source through which we can unlock innovation potential instead of succumbing to groupthink and herd behavior. As Malcolm Gladwell suggests in his book, The Outliers, the world will be transformed by both convergent and divergent thinking. It's important, therefore, to see our own accomplishments in a new perspective and to understand what we require from our organizations to take over personal, collective, and institutional leadership to a new level that requires a complete overhaul. The damage of groupthink is painfully apparent across the world. We have failed to harness people's rich and diverse experiences, people's diverse cultures and perspectives to drive innovation, growth, and meaning. Both of these resources are locked within people in our organizations. This is why diversity, broadly understood, has to be the catalyst for creating an environment where people who are unique and different, who are diverse by nature, by experience and upbringing, can work more effectively in ways that lead to breakthroughs with respect to new levels of creativity, innovation, problem solving, decision making. We achieve greatness as human beings by doing simple things well, consistently, passionately and with determination. There is still no replacement to hard work and ambition. Notwithstanding that complexity, uncertainty and change have become weapons of destruction. We have to acknowledge and value all the dimensions of difference, such as thinking styles, perspectives, experiences, work habits, competence, management styles, and particularly generational insights, as well as the more traditional diversity considerations as a new source of competitive advantage. It is not going to come from technology alone. We have to use the people we employ by inspiring them to contribute new ideas, new insights, their wisdom, and for them to actualize their own leadership potential so that as a human race, we can be self-reliant to solve our own problems. We are on an important journey of raising human consciousness, and therefore we have to learn from the wisdom of others to improve our own efforts to be more significant. We are all caught up in an unavoidable tapestry of interdependence. Whatever affects one directly affects all of us indirectly. So let's take our leadership to a new level of responsibility, accountability, integrity, and impact. Who would have thought that insane lending policies in the US would bring the global financial system to its knees, increasing unemployment and leading to a global recession? When all our differences are put together, we find ourselves in a virtual gathering of great minds and pioneering spirits coming together to improve the art of possibility and the state of the world. What we need today are leaders who can ignite each human being to achieve their greatness. Leaders who can hold both the mirror to look at themselves and the map to find their way in the world. We will not build a sustainable future if we continue to peddle the model that there are only a few Richard Bransons, Sean Thompsons, Matthew Pozers, Ronnie Aptiakars, Malcolm Gladwells, Adrian Gores, or Wendy Lohabes. The truth is, society has conspired to keep humanity functioning way below their potential. 
Let us challenge the human race to function at their full potential and beyond, as Mahatma Gandhi reminded us. If we all did what we're capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves and the world would be transformed. If we are serious about solving the problems of the world, then we must empower people to assume center stage in our organizations and in society. There is absolutely nothing extraordinary about any of us speaking at this conference today. Each one of you is just as brilliant, if not more. You must simply find the courage to step forward and manifest your greatness. This is an important moment in the history of our generation. We cannot afford to remain on the sidelines. Find your courage to contribute and to take action in areas where you come alive, where your passion is brought to life, because in the final analysis, there is a revolution that is taking place. Our efforts have significance. We must take a stand and play our part. Instead of being overwhelmed by the possibility of failure or the humiliation of feeling small. Ultimately, regardless of how difficult and impossible circumstances may appear, our life remains our responsibility. Do not deprive us, therefore, and the world of your greatness. The world is desperately waiting for the ultimate creative intervention, a new leadership model that acknowledges and celebrates people with all their differences, idiosyncrasies, needs and strangeness to breakthroughs in workplace relationships. Let's change ourselves so we can change the world. And yes, we can, as Obama proved to the world. He gave Americans a stake in their own future and reminded them that they are one nation with a shared destiny. That is the secret. We must demand to have a stake in our future Otherwise, we throw stones instead of using them to become architects of our own future. Let us become entrepreneurs. Let us create new industries. There has never been a better time than this moment. <laughs>